Well, if 2018, 2020, and 2022 weren't enough of a reason to ask for change at the head of the RNC, another report out this morning may convince you. All right, folks, we got to talk about the RNC and Ronna Romney McDaniel and what they've been doing over there for the last few years. Might give you an idea why 2018, 20, 22 were a disaster. But first, I want to remind you that this video is sponsored by Mike Lindell and MyPillow. MyPillow.com slash LFS6B. Our code LFS6B at checkout is the way for you to get 10 to 60% off whatever you put in that card at MyPillow.com slash LFS6B. All right, let's talk about the RNC. If you needed any other reason to know that we needed leadership change, and we've been talking about this on the show, 2018, 2020, 2022, we're always stuff looking around going, hey, what happened? What happened? Well, maybe not a little focus going on over there at the RNC. Maybe not as focused as they needed to be on winning races instead of spending money. And we have this report out today exclusive analysis of rnc spending since 2017 oh wow just right before 2018 shows millions were spent on private jets limousines luxury retreats and broadway shows see folks mitch mcconnell's your leader in your senate and this is the way they spend your money this is what happens Let's take a look at this. Back in 2010, RNC chair Michael Steele at the time was heavily criticized and eventually lost his position because donors were angry about what they believed was luxurious spending on private jets, floral arrangements, chauffeur services, and member meetings in expensive tropical paradises. Donors were used, um, donors were used to frugality from the RNC under the George W. Bush administration, when Carl Rove would bitch if there were flowers on the tables and staff holiday parties were catered by Chick-fil-A. Hey, what's wrong with Chick-fil-A? Despite Joe Biden's economy and three straight cycles of election losses, the RNC's big spending days are back with a vengeance. Perhaps because of these losses, both RNC donors and committee members are intensely interested in the committee's finances, particularly the spending. Well, late last week, Red State was provided a report dated October 7th, 2022 that examined RNC's 2021-2022 spending. It calculated more than $500,000 in private jet expenses, $64,000 at clothing retailers, and $321,000 in floral arrangements. And if I zoom in here, you could take a look. Let's just go line by line. Luxury travel, 50 disbursements in the amount of 1.3 million. This is just for 2020. This is just for 21 and 22. 1.3 million in disbursements. Average disbursement was 27,284 for luxury travel. And that doesn't even include the jet. Private jets, 14 disbursements um, for a half mil which averages about 36,000 per flight on the private jet. They on that G5. Uh, floral arrangements, 279, probably sending them to Pelosi when she uh, had to get her hair done and not wear her mask, maybe. Disbursement, 321,000. $1,152 average disbursement amount for floral. Who the hell were they sending flowers to? Home improvement and decor, 201 disbursements of that for 165 166 grand 825 dollars of disbursement entertainment 34 disbursements totaling 75 grand 2200 of disbursement so they were getting those vip club seats there food and beverage delivery 129 disbursements 65,000 for $507 of disbursement. Man, craft services is way better at the RNC than it is at Studio 6B, I could tell you that. Clothing retailers, 42 disbursements, 64,000, an average of $1,500 a disbursement. Well, I got this at DXL for about 37 bucks, so that's they're doing better over there for that too. Non-clothing retailers, and by the way, all these people on TV, they look like crap. They don't look like they're dressed to the, they're not exactly wearing Joseph Abood suits. Give me a break. Non-clothing retailers, 182 disbursements, 55 grand, $304 per disbursement. Alcohol, 
Well, I'll give them this one because if this was on the Democratic side, the alcohol just for the speakers alone is probably about a million bucks. Uh, 124 disbursements, 36 grand, $294 a disbursement. Spa and cosmetics. Again, if this was on the other side, it'd probably be about a million. Uh, 7,500 for 358 a disbursement. Vehicle and other mechanical expenses, 4,900. LGBTQ plus filings. Three disbursements for 1,200 bucks, 426 for a grand total of 1,082 disbursements in the last year, 2.7 million, $2,500 uh, an average. To determine how that compared with the rest of Ronna McDaniel's tenure, Red State examined RNC expenditures from 17 through 22. In addition to a review of Federal Elections Commission FEC data, Red State spoke with current vendors, state party officials, familiar with the workings, former staffers, some from McDaniel's tenure, and some who worked for prior chairs and several current RNC members to verify numbers and dates. Most were only willing to discuss the matters on background, and all were promised anonymity to avoid potential retaliation. It's difficult to accurately categorize all of the expenditures because a significant number of transactions seem to be misclassified. For example, nearly 5000 spent in 2022 at Lululemon. They probably saw my wife there. Uh, a luxury athletic apparel brand was classified as an office expense, as were two expenditures totaling 9300 at Madison Square Garden in 2017. Our review found the amount spent during the 21-22 election cycle seemed to have been par for the course and possibly even lower than previous portions of McDaniel's tenure. According to FEC filings, since, the 2000, since 2017, the RNC has spent $3.1 million on private jet service, $1.3 million on limousine chauffeur services, $17.1 million on donor mementos, 750 grand on floral arrangements, 80,000 in alcohol related expenditures. Again, there, they're probably doing okay because if it was on the other side, like I said, <laughs> you can imagine what those would be. Sunday morning. Nearly 400,000 has been spent on event tickets and other entertainment activities, including 30,000 for a private box at a Las Vegas Raiders game. Well, of course. 3000 for Broadway shows. Wasn't Broadway closed for like most of this time? 9400 at Madison Square Garden and 43000 at top golf locations in Texas, Nevada, Virginia and Maryland. 43 grand at top golf. Who's trying to become a golfer? 43000 at top golf. According to a senior staffer, the private box Raiders game was part of a retreat for senior staff members. Well, of course, got to get their R&R &R in. RNC funds were used only to fly the senior staffers and their plus ones first class to Las Vegas. <laughs> Jesus. And for their hotel rooms, food, and alcohol, the staffer said. Okay. Where, where did they go, I wonder, for the alcohol and the, and the entertainment? I wonder if it was uh, Spearmint Rhino or, where, or was it, where was it? Uh, senior staff retreats were also held at the Salamander Resort and Spa in Virginia in 2021 and 22. Uh, National Committee member says that at the 21 retreat held from March 19th through the 21st, 30 senior staffers and their families attended. And the RNC paid for Katie Walsh and Mike Shields to speak to the group. FEC reporting shows that the RNC paid 260 grand to the resort in 21 and 22, classified as travel expenses and venue rental and uh, catering. And they have a video here of this, uh, this joint. The dates of various entertainment expenditures were provided to former staffers and national committee members who confirmed that there were no donor events or other official RNC events occurring at those times. Under the current leadership, the RNC has spent more than $150,000 on what could be considered non-essential office expenses, including $25,000 on Commonwealth Joe Coffee. So they're not even buying Lindell's Coffee, although I guess it wasn't out in 2017. $7,000 on cupcakes. Nearly $7,000 on candles and diffusers. Well, we got to make sure the place looks good while we're losing all these elections and smells good. 
and 75000 total at Pottery Barn, West Elm, and Restoration Hardware, and Crate and Barrel. So we have a certain look we're going for here, folks, at the RNC. It's not a look of winning, I can tell you that. In addition, the committee's FEC reports show expenditures totaling 381000 classified as furniture expense during the same time frame. So obviously they're not shopping at Bob's Furniture either. Maybe they're over there at Thomasville or Fine Furniture or maybe buying some Bob Timberlake. Who knows? More than 100000 was spent at high-end clothing stores such as Roback. Let me tell you how many of these I've shopped at. You could take a guess. Roback, negative. REI, negative. Nordstrom, negative. Vineyard Vines, my son likes Vineyard Vines. Footjoy, okay, yes. Ralph Lauren, yes. Carhartt, never, no. I think that doofus from Pennsylvania wears them. He's going to be bringing that to the Senate, I hear. Smathers and Branson have no idea. An RNC vendor tells Red State that the Vineyard Vines expense, 12000 was likely for embroidered jackets RNC staffers recently received. Well, I mean... Gotta ha- you got to have those. According to the financials, the RNC is quite generous to its donors, spending $17 million on donor mementos and possibly more during McDaniel's tenure. Custom pins by legendary DC jeweler Ann Hand and Christmas ornaments from Shamart, the, co- Shamart, the company that makes the White House Christmas ornaments, are listed as donor memento expenses. But the financials also include $65,000 in office supplies from Ann Hand, and 28000 from Shamar or Shamart. The records also include more than 100000 in hair and makeup services and dry cleaning expenses, which presumably are for McDaniel's media appearances and wardrobe. Let's move on. Dry cleaning expenses are categorized mainly as office supplies or travel expenses, while the hair and makeup services are categorized as media preparation. Media preparation. Has anyone ever watched any of these interviews? I don't think there's much media preparation going on. I'd be like saying, yeah, I'm doing a lot of media preparation for my interviews. No, I'm not. I'm going to sit down and start talking. What what preparation is there? Okay, um, here's what you're going to talk about in 18 when we got our ass kicked. Here's what you're going to talk about in 20 when we got our ass kicked. And here's what you're going to talk about in 22, Rhonda, when we got our ass kicked. You got it? First perspective, the Democratic National Committee, the DNC, has spent $1.5 million on donor gifts, $35,000 on private jets, and only $1,000 for floral arrangements. Yeah, they've spent it all on alcohol. Uh, longtime RNC committee members who spoke at Red State said that other than during Michael Steele's time as chair, it has not been standard practice for the chair to use private jet or chauffeur services. A committee member who spoke to Red State on the condition of anonymity said, we are only provided with top-line financial numbers during our meetings, with no specificity, and when I asked the budget chair for more information, he has been unable to provide it. Well, geez, shocker. The member added that there is general frustration about the lack of financial transparency among committee members, but that members who demand more information are labeled as troublemakers. You see, folks, all Sam Bankman-Fried had to do was just run for Congress or run for Senate or run for chair of either party and he could have taken the $8 billion, no problem. He wouldn't have been looked at as a... Pon- Ponzi schemes are fine if it's associated with government. That's all he... See, his problem was he tried to do this outside of working for the biggest Ponzi scheme we all know, which, of course, is the federal government. Major donors who are learning of the expenditures are understandably upset about how their uh, contributions are being spent. Country music star, RNC donor, and about to be bank owner, John Rich... Old Glory Bank, who has been openly critical of the RNC's expenditures and of McDaniel herself, tells Red State the leadership of the RNC has taken advantage of millions of regular everyday conservatives by pretending to support what patriots support. That's absolutely right. But in reality, they are blowing untold troves of cash on extravagant nonsense. I almost put the period after they're blowing because they do. They suck and supporting rhino candidates while ignoring America First contenders. They are nothing more than controlled opposition. John Rich knows what's going on. The RNC ran ads in 2021 raising money under the phrase fight for Trump while simultaneously telling Trump and his team to stand down from questioning the election results, stating he was ruining the party. 
The RNC has betrayed its supporters, and I, for one, will never help them raise another red cent, especially from old Glory Bank, until the Judas elements of the organization have been purged. I mean, can you say it any better than that, by the way? That goes for the whole damn party. McDaniel did not reply to Red State's request for comment prior to publication. Well, of course not. She was getting her hair done and prepping for some interview, probably. Spending your money. All right, update here. As of uh, 2 a.m. this morning, Emma Vaughn, an RNC employee and spokesperson for McDaniel's re-election campaign, provided the following statement. A client of Harmy Dillon decided to publish a hit piece. Oh, oh, see what's going on here. Oh, okay. They're feeling a little pressure from Harmeet. Decided to publish a hit piece in the middle of the night without making a serious attempt to engage with the RNC or Chairwoman McDaniel's team. This blog post is as blatantly false as the lies she has been spreading that RNC members are being bribed for their votes. If critics want to misrepresent and push false narratives about the RNC spending this past cycle, they should do so. Uh, they should do the math before realizing it only adds up. They should do the math before realizing it only adds up to 0.8% of the total amount of the chair the chairwoman's raise. But she's not denying that this was the usage of the money. She's not denying usage that this that the expenditures and what we said here is correct. She just says, well, if you do the math, it's only 0.8. Well, okay, but we're, we want to know if this is exactly what you spent the money on, not what percentage it was to the overall that she raised. By the way, I could raise the same amount of money in the political climate we've been in since 2018. So that, that's like saying Mitch McConnell is great because of what he's done with uh, judges. Anybody could have done this, raised this money. Are you kidding me? Well, so there you go, folks. That's how the, uh, that's how the RNC is spending your money, $2.6 million that we know of. And uh, if you needed any more reason to seriously think about uh, different leadership, whether it's Mike Lindell or Harmeet Dillon or Lee Zeldin, if you wanted it, I mean, here you go. So, all right, as always, this video is brought to you by Mike Lindell. Speaking of, mypillow.com slash LFS6B. Support Mike, support the show. Use our code at checkout, 10 to 60% off, and I'll see you in the next one.